the average American media consumer has a specific idea of what indigenous people look like because of the way they're shown on TV and stuff mm-hmm. and film. And that's a North American version yeah. of indigenous people. Do you like see anything or have you experienced anything with like trying to get more representation for what that looks like in Latin America, like in media for people to like learn about that way? Mm-hmm. And even within that context that you mentioned of people's preconceived notions of indigenous people as North American, more specifically it's oftentimes like Plains native peoples, yeah. which exactly. is, you yeah. know, a very specific aesthetic and look and the leather and feathers because yes. of, you know, old cowboy westerns and that's really ingrained itself in people's imagination. Whereas like, you know, folks from the coast, whether they're, you know, Tongva people who are traditionally who are here in LA, who are still here in LA, or Chumash people or Pomo people further up north, those are all indigenous communities that were very different than what you imagine or what you see portrayed in media, um, culturally, uh, linguistically. Uh, and so I think for, for indigenous folks from Latin America, you see also a little bit more of, of representation. I mean, you know, there's, there's few and often as all things and that reach such a, a popular status of within media, but you know, attempts to like occupy more space and you know, I don't know, I just recently watched the, the second Black Panther film. Um, we just, we talked, just talked about, about it. <laughs> it was interesting and it's cool. You hear the Mayan language uh-huh. and you know, it still I think frames indigenous Mayan people as you know, this kind of ancient civilization when there's Mayan people in it's East still, LA, bro. There's here, like Mayan yeah. people all, all over the place <laughs> who are still speaking their language. So anyways, I think, I think what I am excited about with how we use media is how can we reframe indigenous people as as present existing autonomous communities and, and, and beings that are actively a part of the world that we see around us, not just something that we relegate to history. And to me, that's why music has been such an important medium for me because it helps me recontextualize uh, everything that I carry ancestrally and, and the knowledge and the stories and the language that I'm actively relearning and get to make something contemporary out of it, something that honors mm-hmm. where, where I came from the elders that have informed everything that I've done in my life, all the organizing that at work that I've done for decades. Uh, and I get to frame it in a way that is beautiful and is artistic and it opens a doorway for these kind of conversations in a way that sometimes talking at people or the, or the spokesperson type of work that I was doing for a long time mm-hmm. doesn't serve the same purpose. I was just out in this pueblo, in this indigenous community in Mexico called Cuentepec in Morelos, which is you know three, four hours south of, of Mexico City. And we were kicking it with all these kids who all still speak their language. Mm-hmm. All the kids in this village all speak their language. The babies, I was hearing kids throwing tantrums in Nahuatl. Um, <laughs> the little elders yelling at each other, talking to the dogs. And it was beautiful to just be surrounded in, in it in, in a way that I hadn't been. You know, I heard language, you know, little words and prayers and phrases from my great grandma, from my abuelos, from my dad. They made sure that the language was always around me, but no one in, close to me was ever fluent. You know, my great grandmother, she had also lost a language. To be around it is so important. And I think the music, what I saw when I brought the music to the village too, is I put out a song recently called Asuntio and it has a yeah, verse. we were listening to it earlier. Yeah, so that second verse is all in Nahuatl, is all in our traditional language. And I wrote it with my language teacher. I'm, oh. I'm not like at the ability yet to be able to write like that. But in collaboration with my language teacher, he was like, okay, let's, let's write this together. You tell me like, let me help, let's flush it out. And he's like, okay, do you want it to sound proper or do you want to just to kind of convey and I'm like no 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 no. I want people in the community to understand yeah because that's at the end of the day they need to hear themselves they need to see themselves they need to feel that they they too can be artists everything that they're taught and everything that we are we learn as indigenous people has a place in the world today and is important for us to be reminded that it, sh- it shouldn't be forgotten